The West African country of Ghana has a strong connection with sea turtles throughout their history that infuses their folklore, their celebrations, and their conservation efforts. So in Ghana, we have um, the major uh, occupation along the coastal communities are fishing. And then in one of the uh, stories that we have in Ghana is that in the olden days, our forefathers went to sea to fish. And then their fishing vessel or boat capsized and they were at the verge of drowning. So sea turtles came up, carried our ancestors at their back and then brought them safely to land. We also have the other story whereby our ancestors were fighting a battle and their opponent was overpowering them, so they decided to retreat. Now, when they were retreating, they came across a very huge river they couldn't cross. So sea turtles came up, formed the bridge, allowed our ancestors to walk at their back and cross the river, and then they, the sea turtles went back, preventing up their opponent from crossing the river. So because of that, our forefathers were saved in that battle. So because of these two stories or folklore, which have become a belief system with the people, sea turtles are revered as um, totems, and because of that, they are protected. In the olden days, we used to perform something like a festival to commemorate this event, and it was part and parcel of the lives of the people. And wherever they are, even outside their community, they still protect the sea turtles. It was easy to recognize that the community had a very tight connection with the sea turtles and uh, a lot of people in the community wanted to come and talk to us about sea turtles and tell us the stories about the sea turtles and they were so very proud of the sea turtles in the area and that's when we started hearing these stories about the taboos against hurting sea turtles or harming sea turtles. And so a lot of my research that I've conducted at the university over the past five or six years with a lot of my students has been focused on working with the fishermen at, to understand how that tradition and those taboos are influencing uh, sea turtle conservation. Uh, sea turtles are protected by a federal law in Ghana, but what our research is indicating is that it's the tradition and it's, it's that oral history that's being passed down that is having a stronger influence on the fishing practices and the overall attitude of sea turtle conservation in the region. <laughs>